So the jungle, which way Labyrinth, is hiding three star coins and a secret exit. For star coin number one, head through the top right door. Inside, ride the left side of the platform down to cause the nearby enemy to punch through the wall, allowing you to gain access to the star coin inside. Back in the main room, go through the far right door. Once through, proceed to the far left wall. Continue past the first door into a secret area just behind it and follow that to another door. Once through, climb the stairs to the top level and look for a hidden block along the left wall. Use it to jump into a secret area containing a door. Inside, hit the P-switch on the ceiling to turn the blocks into coins, then either wait for it to run out or ground pound through the remainder of the bricks to reach the second star coin. You'll have to re-enter the level for the third and final star coin. Once you do, head through the far left door. Inside, you'll catch a ride on a rising platform. Ride it past the main door all the way up to the ceiling. You'll find an entrance to a secret area on the left, and it contains a second door. Once through, you'll reach a tall shaft with floors that gradually disappear. After dropping twice, look for a hidden area along the right wall for the third and final star coin. This level also contains a secret exit, and good news, the door right past the third star coin leads right to the hidden flagpole. This will reveal the path to Soda Jungle's secret level, Flight of the Parabeetles. And finishing that level will unlock a secret shortcut to Moraine Clouds, allowing you to bypass Rock Candy Mines entirely. If you're having trouble reaching any of the star coins in the game, try returning either with a flying squirrel suit or a pink baby Yoshi. Both of their flight abilities should be a huge help. Or, if you're playing with a Wii Remote, remember that you can use the gamepad at any time to create a series of platforms leading right to your prize.